I'm David C. Jones, and this is a preview story. Don't do them that often, but I wanted to do one for this one. And I'm here with Masai Day. Masai Day, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Excited to be here. I know you're you're going to be doing a show very very soon. Like it, it, you must be in dress rehearsal right now. Uh, today was our day off. We are heading into tech tomorrow, so we'll be loading into the theater first thing in the morning. Woo! How exciting. Yeah. Um, now, this is Mozart and her brother, um, yes. not Mozart's sister. So, because <laughs> uh, I guess his name was Amadeus Mozart, so Mozart's the last name. Um, so, uh, what, what was the impetus for this? You know, you didn't write this but you were like, I have an idea for a show. Yes, so I, I had this idea for a number of years. Um, and then I was working on a show in Shamanus with Mark Weatherly. And on closing, we were talking about, oh, what's next? And uh, we started talking about this project and he thought it sounded really interesting. So he offered to write it. Wow. Yeah. Now, uh, because she, uh, you and you, you're a classical violinist, aren't you? Yes, I did a Bachelor of Music before I went into theater. Nice, and you grad it from Studio Fifty Eight, if I don't, if I yes, remember correctly. Right. Yeah, 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 I think I saw you in shows there. Um, so uh, now this this show is sort of a hybrid show. Uh, there's physical comedy and there's clowning. Um, there's no. Um, pantomime um uh, and it's <laughs> classical music is are there songs because mark weatherly uh if i'm not mistaken also has done musical theater and you and you you're musical yes uh so yes mark has written musicals um there are songs the songs uh are based on uh songs by mozart uh but we have put new lyrics in them <laughs> oh nice so it's like yeah. the queen of the night or something like that only you're going i have to make some tea right now i have to make some tea right now <laughs> that's that's sort of the idea yeah <laughs> nice. now this is a is this uh this is the first like let's get it on its feet in front of an audience to see if it's cooking with gas right now or if we have to go back into major rewrites or anything like that is that sort of what's going on here uh, we did do a workshop of the script. We did like a, a week long workshop and a staged reading in January 2020. Mm. Um, so this is our full first like full production of the show. Um, we'll see how it goes, how people like it. Um, but yeah, we were we were kind of just about ready to get to this stage in 2020 and then the Obviously, world ended. We're going to program a new show right then. So here we are right. now. Nice. How big is the cast? Because it's not just you. It's two people. Two whole people. Yeah, just me and Jenny Anderson, who is a lovely singer and a voice teacher. She actually teaches voice at Studio 58 now. Oh, and, wonderful. Um, yeah, plays many instruments. And we're very excited to have her in the show. Why should people not miss this show, Miss I? Uh, it's hilarious. It uh, has something for lots of different people. It's got the, the classical music. It's got the, the uh, Mark is very funny. He's got lots of funny, funny little bits in there. Um, and it's actually got um, so, uh, I mean, obviously we know Nanerol didn't get to become a famous composer and uh, like her brother did. So it's got, um, also that uh, poignancy in there that um, we know what's going to happen to her. All right. And, we, and we're going to learn a little something because a lot of people don't yeah. know about her. So they're going to go, <laughs> well, I didn't know that. Do you, have to, do you have to like put in the program? You have a program, right? You have a program. <laughs> oh, 
I get so <laughs> upset about people doing programs. Um, this new trend, which I am personally fighting against. Um, but uh, do you have in the program, look, she's a real person. This isn't made up stuff. This isn't like Jesus' sister or something like that, where, you know, the, one of those comedy shows. It's like, she was real. No, she really existed. Yes, we do have that in the program. <laughs> Gold letters. I wrote a, I wrote, wrote a, a note. Uh, uh, about the show and yes she is a real person or she was a real person she really existed she really was a talented musician like her brother and just didn't get the same opportunities did she compose she did compose yes he did compose there's uh there's a lot of letters back and forth within the mozart family that were saved um and there's reference made in those letters to her compositions but nobody saved those unfortunately damn it yeah <laughs> well hopefully <laughs> hopefully your show will spark a worldwide interest in <laughs> uh in finding finding some remnant of a letter uh where she or maybe she mailed off a, a composition to her her bestie and said, hang <laughs> on to this someone's gonna look for it one day yeah, I think, the, unfortunately, she sent most of them to her brother, and her brother wasn't as good at saving letters as she was. Oh, no. Well, <laughs> you're only doing two shows uh, over two days. Actually, sorry? Yeah, two, uh, sorry. <laughs> We're doing four shows over two days. There we go. That's what it is. So people got to get their tickets uh, fast. So I'm going to give you the last word. You're going to have to do like a 10-second commercial. Tell people to come see the show and why you're not allowed to say, here, I'm going to make it a game. You're not allowed to say something for everyone because shows okay. that say that don't really mean it. Okay. <laughs> They're just trying to pass the net wide. <laughs> and hmm, let's say you can't say the word classical either. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. uh, come see our show. It It's entertaining. It has lots of fun musical arrangements it will make you cry it will make you laugh and you will come out of the theater knowing something about someone who was a real fascinating person that you didn't know about before bravo you sold me all yes. right well thank you so much and have a great opening and the very next day have a great closing <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much yeah thank you for having me here Oh, <laughs>